How chaser? For those who don't know, okay. For those who don't know, this is when I first. This is when I first got to this crib. Now I first got to this crib, bro. Never did nothing with this girl. Nothing that. When I first got to this crib, this literally was sitting on my bed. I had up to the water. It must have been when I left. She recorded the mafia rug. She got the, the mirror and shit and posted it, bro. When I first, it's like this is a, it's a minute ago. It's a minute ago. This is a minute ago. But why is this being conf yo, bro? What? LOL lying. Word of my mother. This is a weird. This is weird. Let me let me see what she got to say. Come to you and ask you for a break. She's like, you know what? I just want a break to get my mind right. There is somebody that she wants to sleep with, but she doesn't want it on her conscience. So if everything's going okay, or you guys are not arguing that much, or if it's just something simple and she asks you for a break, listen to me. There's somebody that she wants to cheat on you with. That she already been sized up. That's why she wants to break. If she asks you that, get rid of her immediately. Tell her, yes, agree to the break. Agree to the break. Agree to take the break. If a woman tells you she want a break and she's mentally not in the space right now, agree to the break. Take the break. But make that be a forever break because she's going to go to pound town to let a man beat on her meat. To beat up her pork chops. Yeah, to beat her pork chops up. It ain't going to be you beating it up. It's going to be somebody else. So guess what you do? You get rid of that hoe. You toss her back to the streets where she belongs. If a woman ever asks you for a break. She's a hoe, bro. She got somebody that she wants to sleep with, but she doesn't want it on her conscience. And get rid of that trash. Sometimes the trash gotta take itself out. Yeah, yeah. There's someone like you, he's obviously got a great brain, yeah. training to be a law student at university, decides to pack it all in to just take your clothes off for, for perfect strangers on OnlyFans. Why? It turns out I'm pretty good at getting my clothes off, and I was like, this is a career for now, me. You see, okay, you're gonna be proud that you have your little ones and they look at you and go, didn't you want to be a lawyer, mummy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, yeah, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. What are you, what are you sounding like? You sound yeah. awful. Sorry? Why, why go down this road? I earn a lot. How much do you make? Maybe like double that? <laughs> I'm 0 0.01 on OnlyFans, so I'm as top as it gets because I'm really good looking. What do your family think of this? I mean, they must be incredibly disappointed. My dad is dead and my mum is on my payroll. Doing what? Um, admin. I reckon I'll yeah. interview again in 15 years. Yeah. And you'll say, you know what, Piers, you were right. I'll pick you up in my Bugatti. I'm just disappointed. Last like, one. Do you like anal? Do I like what? Anal. Do I like what? Anal. Anal. Yeah, I've come seven times on anal, so yeah, I do. I beg your pardon? How many times? Seven times. Damn. Can he do date? <laughs> no. We tried this before. Because you're trying to play me, that's why we're here. Look, you don't have to. Why you touch me again, but knock your little ass out? What you talking about? You better know what I'm going to do to him. It's your fault. Everything your fault. You better not say shit. Bye, on me. <laughs> How you doing today, sir? My name is Jeremy. I'm here talking about the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No, I'm, I'm straight. Hey, man. Hey. How you doing? Oh, this is your wife. I'm so yeah. sorry, you guys. You guys have a great day. Appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, Everything shit. in the world has gotten significantly, significantly worse since we gave women the right to vote. So girls. You have the best man. You don't want to see any other. It's a not love. It's a good deal. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor? Hit the notifications button right now. All right, guys, I got about three videos for you today. The first video is going to be a guy asking a woman, and he's going to be asking a couple people about, do you protect women's rights or gas prices? And you should just hear her answer. In the next video, it's going to be Myron breaking down why cheating is not that bad when you're dealing with a man than it is when you're dealing with a woman. And this is one of the ones that you guys really want to watch. Next video is going to be a woman that I wanted to show that the modern woman now that grows up without a father will always be living in things in dramatic situations. And we're going to be reacting to a video of a woman's story that's pretty much outrageous, but it shows you 
how much these modern women love the drama. And I'm not talking about all women. We're only talking about the ones that most guys are seeing. Then the last video is going to be a comedy sketch from a guy who's who asks his dad, what is it like to be married to his mom? And this is going to be the typical answer that most husbands are going to answer. But let's get back to the first video. Uh, protect women's rights or low gas prices? Um, honestly, I don't really with girls. Um, you know, I girls are mean. Uh, they're big. Uh, most of the time, they're not really smart or good at driving. Um, everything in the world has gotten significantly, significantly worse since we gave women the right to vote. So I honestly think we should just lower gas prices. Woo. And believe it or not, if you separate women from their friends and you speak to them privately, a lot of girls are going to talk like this because a lot of girls understand how manipulative women are by shifting of the emotion. Women do understand that the power between their legs is going to get them further in life than anything else. Why? Because women really don't want to go to school. They don't want to be smart. It requires hard work to being a good woman. It's the same thing with a man. It requires a, a lot of work for you to be the best version of yourself. But with men, you have to be the best version of yourself or society is going to treat you wrong regardless. When it comes to a woman, they don't necessarily have to be the best version of themselves. They just have to make themselves presentable or victimize themselves and they can get what they want. And I'm not talking about all women. I'm just talking about the majority of the women that men see. So I do understand why she is saying that, hey, let's lower the gas prices instead of instead of women's rights because women don't really want women's rights it's just something that they were told to do see what comes with women's rights is independence and a lot of accountability women don't want to be accountable so of course they're going to go to low gas prices because it's easier All right next video is going to be myron breaking it down let's get to it what about you are you sharing your guy or no, no. even if he's uh <laughs> if you cheating i'm cheating if that's like, if you can go out, fine, why can't I? Like, okay. you hold shit down, yeah, but I'm holding shit down at home. So. All right, well, question for you then, since you want to use that concept of if he can do it, why can't I? Do you want to be able I'm not saying I'm be able, but you be Please answer the question. Do you want to be able, yes or no? No. Okay. Him well, time. men aren't hoes. Men are hoe makers. That's number one. But number two, <laughs> uh, but you were saying, okay, so you don't, cause here's the thing. A guy can have the best girl ever, but still want to have other girls. But if a girl's with the best guy that she can get, she's not going to want to have other men. So. Even though you're saying you can do it, so I should be able to do it. The difference is a guy can have the best girl, he's still gonna want other girls. You have the best man, you don't want to see any other guy. Damn, That's nobody the difference. Richard it goes against your nature. So you're making an argument for something you don't even want to do necessarily. He's absolutely right. See, when women get to that guy that she's done better in her entire life, all right, she don't want to go to no other guy. But guys are gonna like other women because men are the prize. Women are trying to get to the prize of the man. They're not trying to get to the prize of who's the nicest guy in the world. They're trying to get to the prize of getting to the guy that all the girls want, which is why when women do date high value men, they're more lenient to him having other women as long as they feel like they're the number one woman. So if you ever get a woman that asks you like, what happens if a, a high value man cheats on a woman or you have a daughter and your daughter gets cheated on by a high value man? I'm going to sit back and tell my daughter straight up. If that man's been building a relationship with the side girl, he's been telling the side girl he love her, he's been telling the side girl that he's going to leave you for her, then you need to go ahead and leave him. But if your man cheats on you and he's told that other girl, I'm not leaving my woman and what we have is just a little fling here, then you work it out with that woman. See, high value men are going to always be attracted to the other, to the opposite. But you have to understand that sometimes when it comes to men, you know, men are always thinking about sex 24 hours, seven days a week. So it's easier for a man to slip up. But a man can separate the woman he loves from the woman that he's just getting physical with. That's what you have to understand. Women who've been hurt just want a man to possess them. But when they get a man who's at the top of the top, the highest that she's ever getting, that she's ever got, then she's more forgiven. And the reason why she's forgiven is because one thing that a woman can't do is go down in lifestyle. One thing that a man can't do is go down sexually. So understand, men are more likely 
to marry the woman who's good in bed and look good, but a woman is more likely to be with the guy who can uphold her lifestyle. Thank you for watching Anthony Spade Reactions. If you want more reaction videos, make sure you click on the links below in the description and watch my other videos, but also check me out on my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, so you can watch more daily vlogs of my personal life. Hasta la vista.